Hello, I'm Dr. Ba, and we are going to make a waistband sample. So I have in front of me the instructions and what, everything I'm going to need, I hope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the sample, making the sample using the instructions that you have uh, for your class. So the first thing listed here is your sample fabric. All right. So for your waistband, you're going to use, I'm going to use this blue piece here. And it says here it's 18 and a half, 18 and a half inches in the lengthwise grain. So the lengthwise grain, I've kind of set it this way so that helps you make sense of it. And here's my selvage. The reason we use the lengthwise grain, even though it goes around our body, is because we want the strongest direction to hold in our waist. How's that? Um, and, and give more support there. And so uh, all of your measurements are listed with lengthwise grain first and then crosswise. So this one is 18 and a half inches long, and then it's three and three fourths inches wide. Okay, now you might say to yourself, why those measurements? Where did they get those? Well, the reason it's 18 and a half inches long is because we want it to fit this teeny tiny little skirt that we're sort of pretending is a skirt. But so that just goes along with the size of the sample that you're going to make. But the three and three half, three and three fourths inches in the cross grain, that actually has some theory to it. So a waistband is typically about an inch and a quarter wide. So if we take this waistband and we do an inch and a quarter wide for the band, and then we're going to do the facing as well. So we need the other side to it. And so that makes it an, add another inch and a quarter. That's two and a half inches. And then we need two seam allowances. And two five eighths seam allowances is another inch and a quarter. So that's where we get the three and three quarters. Okay. Um, and then for the skirt, we're just going to do six inches in the lengthwise grain. So I've got my selvage right here. So there's my six inches. And then this is going to be 17 inches. So there's my 6 by 17. OK, now we also need a piece of fusible woven interfacing. Because we went, want our band to be very supportive and to be able to stand up on our body, we're going to use fusible woven interfacing. Now, the thing about a waistband is that a waistband starts at your waist, and then it goes up from there. And so that's why we can take a rectangular piece of fab fabric around that part of our body. If you ever have a waistband that starts at the waist and goes down onto your hips, then that's more of a facing or a yoke or a contoured waistband. But when it starts at the waist and goes up, then you can use just a straight band of fabric. Okay, so let's keep going. So 